Only four remain. Gavin Rees, the bookies' favourite, five to four from Colin Lines, former European champion, seven to four. The Outsiders, Jason Cook, four to one, and Young Mutley, a six to one shot. First of our semi finals, then, and it's an all Welsh affair. Jason Cook, nine to four with the bookmakers. His opponent, Gavin Rees, the first former world champion to take part in Prize Fighter, three to one on. Our MC is John McDonald. Yes, welcome back to the action. This is semi final number one in the PartyCasino.com Prize Fighter Series Light World of Weights and Association with MyProtein.co.uk and Lonsdale. Welcome, viewers, joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports. Let's meet the Prize Fighters. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing in at 10 stone, 2 pounds, 8 ounces. 35 record, 29 wins, 14 inside the schedule distance, and just one defeat. He comes to the ring as the former WBA light waterweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, from Newbridge, it's the Rock Gavin Reed. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. And the silver, green, and red chance of weighing in a 10 stone, 1 pound, 12 ounces. 28 fight record, 26 wins, 14 inside the schedule distance. Two defeats, the former European lightweight champion and the IBO lightweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, from Maystag, Jason the Power. Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Bob O'Jolfa. Referee in charge of the action is Mr. Ian John Lewis. This is three, three minute rounds. Boxers, I am the referee. Obey my command at all times. You're bound for the rules. Watch the heads, keep the punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Well, we've had English, Irish, and Scottish winners of prize fighter no welshman has taken the trophy and the uh, big cash prize yet one will definitely be in the final and in front of joe calzaghi probably the most famous welsh fighter of modern times gavin reese jason cook could they light this tournament up now well it's a very good fight this Always going to be a good semi final if it came about. And I wonder if Cook is going to use that jab he talked about a little bit more against the, the shorter, stockier Gavin Reese. I think Piper was saying in the studio he was a very good amateur himself, Jason Cook, but that was a long, long time ago. Reese has got the age on him and the record and has come forward. Hustle bustle style. Will Cook be able to match him for punches? Whipping in the uppercut, Jason Cook. Remember, he's uh, also got that cut on the forehead from the head clash with Michael Grant. Yeah, but he's maybe, you know, just a little bit thoughtful about that, isn't he? With the, the shorter man, heads could clash together. It's little Terrier and Gavin Reese. Good shot from Cook. Looking to load up on that left hand. Which saw him win the European title out in Italy against Sandro Casamonica. That was a wonderful punch. Heads banging together and the cuts open. Yeah, he's making good use of his short stature, isn't he, Reese? You know, he, he likes to get inside uh, where he can work. His short arms, he pumps them away. Smart and sharp, though, from Cook. Catching Reese as he comes in. Still got some of the skills. And a right hand as well. Finding the timing, Jason Cook. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. He's letting the shots go. He's 
got good speed, Cook. We saw that in his first fight. Michael Grant, where the reflexes were good, and he's doing the same here. Body shot from Gavin Reese. Trying to whip in overhand shots. He's almost 35. He said he's rejuvenated for the game. And that he hasn't felt this good in about six or seven years. He's boxing well here. Yeah, Cook's given himself room and he's catching Reese on the way in. He's just taking a step back, and that was a decent round for Jason Cook. Sit down, just sit down, sit down. Hey, you'll be more busy at Jace. Excuse the language in the corner. Ian Johnson goes to work. That is well, well above the eye. But it's nasty nonetheless. He's got the experience, though, surely to be able to cope, Glenn. Yeah, he's got the, the boxing skills as well. He's given himself room. He's not allowing Reese to fight his fight. There's a, a decent jab open and the, the cut on the head. From the shorter, stocky Gavin Reese, all action type fighter, but he needs to be close to fight his fight. And Jason Cook is not letting him do that. Enzo Calzaghi still talking to Gavin Reese. Great character he is. Reese in the red. And the Welsh dragon on one side of Jason Cook shorts and the names of his children on the other. Lovely right hand from Cook. He's been so G'd up and looking forward to this tournament. He stacks shelves in a supermarket at night. That's his life now down in uh, Maesteg. But he believes he's got more to offer the game of boxing. And it's quite difficult to get into a rhythm against Jason Cook. He's got an orthodox, but he's got fast hands and he's got a bit of power a decent boxing brain makes the most of those skills trying to whirl in the hooks to the body Reese. a lot of those sort of smiles haven't there tonight the knowing ones between good old pros yeah there's a bit of pride at stake as well isn't it amongst these guys this is having a little more success, he's getting closer in, working to the body. There's a good deal of pride and a good deal of respect as well, which is excellent to see. They've handled themselves very well in the promotional build-up, all eight of them and the two reserves. Good left from Gavin Reese and down goes Jason Cook in the second round. And he shakes his head. Back comes Reese. Yeah, that was much better from Reese. He's got the confidence now. He's hurt Cook. Right hand from Reese. He's trapped in the corner. Jason Cook. He's got to get out the old legs. Well, this is better now. Now it's warming up, showing what they can do in there. He was angry with himself, it's as though he felt he wouldn't have been hit by a punch like that all the years ago, but Reese on top and driving through. What a turnaround in this semi-final. Yeah, real Lisa Leif, isn't it, from Gary Re from Gavin Reese. Just now showing what he can do, what brought him the, the world title. Got a fight, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> we smile at each other, play the games, and then a big attack from Reese. And finally, the crowd as well really wake up. We've needed some fireworks to lift the capital tonight. And we got one or two there. You might have got You've got to knock him out. Yeah. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Let him come, let him You've got to knock him out, and this is why. Yeah, there's a decent solid right hand, and then 
but good left hook. He started to find his rhythm, started to get the range, get his punches off. Good right, tried for the second right, but come back with a good left hook. And he felt it. Jason Cook, solid punch. Agony for Cook in the corner. Sorry, lads. And Agony with oh, those statistics. 16 to 1 on Reese to book his place in prize fighter final. A huge embrace between the two. And for a couple of minutes, respect did go out the window there. <laughs> well, we know what they're capable of, and they finally showed us what they can do. He knows what he's got to do, Jason Cook. And that is throw the big guns. Good first for the man from Mystag, the former postman. And an excellent second from Reese, but he walked into a right hand there. He needs a bit more room. Cook knows he needs to find a big punch. He's trying to set himself, plant his feet to get the power to deliver one. And a wonderful left hook to flatten Scott Jordan in his comeback fight. Jason Cook. Probably naturally the bigger puncher in there. But the timing with Reese. Quietly nestled away in the valleys for the last year or so, Gavin Reese wanted to make a real statement tonight. Yeah, powerful little short hooks inside. He's finding the target more in the last round. Cook needs to find a big one, he needs to launch himself. He's swinging from every angle, Jason Cook. He's trying ever so hard. He wants the 32 grand for his children, who are his life. Last minute. Well, they're trying hard, but they need to give themselves a bit of room, smothering his work, Cook. Kidology, sly old tricks, everything going in, attempts the uppercut cook, trying to wind back the years, isn't he, Glenn? The years, he just can't find out the rhythm that he had a few years ago. He's really got to speed up in this contest, and it's hard to do that. What he has, though, is generated some excitement and the left hand from Cook, 10 seconds to go still Reese throwing heavy punches best fight of the night, no doubt about it between these two quality Welshmen and it surely goes to Gavin Reese. Joe Calzaghi up on his feet he's in London for a reason he wants to see his stablemate Gavin Reese. Crown prize fighter champion, and it's going well so far. Yeah, did what he had to do there, Reese. Finally got the punches off. Not a great first round. He threw almost 150. Not much in it on once landed, but the knockdown crucial too. Great effort, valiant from Jason Cook, and a match that did excite. Yeah, he got started pretty well, Jason Cook, but it was Reese who started to land the punches and got the, the punch that matted on in the second. Sweet little short left hook. The third, Cook tried his best, tried to get some power, but it was Reese who just did more. Relaxed and happy, Gavin Reese believes the job's done. And I think Jason Cook 
knows he falls at the semi-final stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our three judges scorecards read 29, 28, 29, 26, 28, 27. All three judges are in favour of the prize fighter through to the final. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rock Gavin Reese. Yeah, good to see Jason Cook lifting up Gavin Reese's arms. The Rock, the favourite before the tournament, is in the final. Bit more like it, wasn't it, Nicky? Terrific fight, and you know, Cook, give him credit. He tried his best. He's just a little bit too old there. And Reese, you know, he's such a quality fighter. It's not great names in his record, apart from, of course, the world title. And, uh, you know, you struggle sometimes to look for a, a really good victory for him. But he's shown there the quality of his fighting. He's so hard to hit cleanly and land a punch on. Let's hear from him. Talking to Ed. Well, Gavin, a hard fought win, but did you enjoy it? Don't know if I'd enjoy it, to be honest. You know, <laughs> it was a hell of a scrap, to be honest. Um, obviously, fight the night so far. I hope the final's going to be a bit easier than that. But, you know, two Welsh boys, two full of pride. Both come forward to fight, so. It's glad I got a victory. Did you know you had it from that second round knockdown? Well, in three round fights, it gives a good chance, you know. He was a big hit, he caught me a couple of times, swallowed me, but, you know, as I always say, I got a great chin, you know. I'm not familiar with boxing like that, right? It's a night in boxing, 10 stone free, so the bigger boys. But I'm just proving how good I am, to be honest. Who do you want to meet in the final, Young Mutley or Colin Lines? I fancy Colin Lines to win, to be honest. Um, he didn't look too impressive against Barnes, but Barnes might have edged it. Uh, they ain't really bothered losing it, they both. Boxers, to be honest, you know, not like a pro, like uh, Jason Cook, thank God. They'll be trying to run round, and I'll be chasing them. Well done. Johnny Gavin Reese showing a bit of his class there.